Alright, hello YouTube, this is Aoi. So in this week's video, I'm going to explain to you why the hell do you need a deer box? So, you got your interface card that has two high Z inputs and you are like, so why the hell do you need a deer box? So let's say that you have your guitar, bam, you check your cable and then you connect it to your interface. Boom, you are ready to rock. But what if you want to record your amplifier at the same time? So what are now? You can't get the DI for editing, for example, or for reamping, if you want to record. So if you go straight into the amp, you cannot go to the high Z input. Usually amps don't have a like a high Z output. So the problem solver here is a DI box. So what do you do? Is you go from DI box, you go into the input of the DI box, and then to the input of the amp from the true. And DI box has an XLR output at the bottom that you connect to your interface. For the amp, you just mic it like a normal amp with a microphone, like that. Another application is if you want to use pedals. So you want the clean DI and you also want the pedal sound. And you want also the amp sound. In this case, you would need two DI boxes and one microphone. But for example, in this interface, there is only two built-in microphone preamps. So you would also need extra two, one or two preamps to connect to the line input in the back. Anyway, how the setup would go, you add the pedals that you want in the order that you prefer. And then you add second DI box. You connect your guitar to the input of the first DI box. Then from the DI box is true, you go to the, your pedal chain. And from the output of the pedal chain, you go to the second DI box. As you can see here, it's an invisible wire going through all the pedals. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then connect the XLR cables to the DI boxes and the microphones. And then, in addition, if you have an amp and head, you can also use a DI box that goes between the amp head and the cabin, like this one, for example. There are also many other DI boxes, and you can also use a passive DI box, like this one. What are good DI brands? Usually, every active DI boxes that are above $100 are usually pretty good, no matter the brand. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music.